We are joined by Evan Falchuk, of course. Uh, you are chairman for the anti-Olympics movement. I'm sorry I'll say it that way, but it was the ballot question, really, that you right. guys were focusing on more to just ensure that taxpayers would not be on the hook for any bo uh, any of the Boston 2024 cost overruns. Uh, talk to us a little bit about how you're feeling this morning now that the bid is officially over. Well, it's an important day yesterday to, to mm -hmm. see that citizens were able to organize in a way that put a stop to an effort to take their money. You know, billions of dollars of taxpayer money was really what this was all about at the end of the day. And it's clear that the fact that we had a ballot initiative that had been filed, that we had built a coalition with the people from Yes on One, that made it clear that we were going to get the signatures to put this on the ballot, that that broke the back of Boston 2024. Beyond the social media, we were organizing in the real world. We had hundreds and, and thousands of people all across Massachusetts who were ready to collect signatures for this. Boston 2024 had misled people for months. People in government had either turned a blind eye to it or been silent when it came to asking, well, where do you stand on this? The bigger thing that came out Friday was when we got that release of documents that showed how they were going to handle a referendum. They said they'd fight it at every step of the way, and that even if it passed, they would work to get it overturned in the legislature. So what we see here is a group, and this is part of the problem with our politics, that was trying to subvert and go around the democratic process for their own private gain, and that people in our government were willing to allow for that. So how did the mayor react? I, I think he took advantage of the situation yesterday where he knew this thing was in trouble and, and he played it as well as he could. He said, okay, no taxpayer money, and that sort of left everybody else without a chair when the music stopped. Uh, but you know, he, he is trying to make a shift from being the guy who went from signing an agreement to tell employees in the city of Boston not to badmouth the Olympics to being the person who's now the protector of taxpayers. That's a, that's a tough shift. Um, but fundamentally, people, if you, you said to people, do a word association game, trust in Boston 2024, they would never match. And that was, that was a huge part of their problem.